and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm on the aerial rider grizzly and I've got another hill climb challenge for the bike so we'll see how the grizzly performs as I go to head to this hill it's not an overly long hill, it's not that long, it's just, it's steep. And so I want to see what happens with the grizzly on this hill. So I'm heading over there, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Temperature's about, well, mid-60s, 64 degrees. And I'm going with a full charge of battery, it says 99%, but... When I started out here, it was 100%. Both batteries were fully charged. So this will be a, an interesting, good test for the bike. I haven't done any... Uh, practice runs or anything I'm just gonna take it on this video and see what happens so you're seeing it as I'm gonna do it for the first time so it's not like I did a, a practice run so this ought to be interesting let's see if that car knows I'm even here sometimes you never know if they can even see you or notice that you are there. Well, here's one of the hill tests right here, actually. This one here is a good challenge. You can hardly uh, notice sometimes with the camera, but as we shoot with both motors, no problem. Sometimes when I put on the second motor, I forget I put the second one on and then I'm spinning out when I uh, come to a stop and then I start again I'll spin out and then so let's see I think I can't remember if it's this way or this way. Let's go this way because I think it might be. If it's not this way, it's the other way. I kind of forget which direction now it was, but it's around here somewhere. Could be this one right here, actually. Yeah. This is a good one right here. So. Like I say, when I'm on the bike here, the camera, you don't get the same perspective as you do seeing it in person here. But uh, before I uh, try to conquer it, I'm going to get off the bike for just a minute at the bottom of this hill. And I'm going to try to show you what this hill looks like after this car here turns. I'm not even sure if this was the hill, but this will this is a good one too, though. Let's make sure nobody else is turning. It's a busy time of day here. Okay, let me kind of walk over to the other side here and just show you. 
Now I'm going to tilt the camera up. You can see the houses up there. So let's try this. I see a big hole in the middle of that road. I'm going to, have to be careful there. But So I'm going to do it from right here, from at a standstill. I'll start with the rear motor for just a second or two so I don't spin out. And then I'll kick over to the uh, front motor because I definitely will need both motors on this. So here we go. It, I'm not sure if this is the hill like I say, but we'll try it and I'll try to find that other one as well. But here we go. All right. So let's kick in. And you can see. Okay, that was uh, no problem, but that's not the one. That's a short, steep hill, but it's not the one I was going to try. There's one that goes almost straight up, and I think it's a little bit longer than this one. But uh, as we go down it, I haven't found a hill yet that the grizzly can't conquer. And I wanted to try this one. Let's go down the street a little more. I see if I can find that exact one because this wasn't the one. I don't think it had a curve like that. But uh, I know it's around here somewhere because I've seen it and I wanted to do it on a video. And I just was thinking today, you know, this would be a great video to show you guys how good if you don't already know that this grizzly is for hill climbing but now we got what looks like a hundred cars coming oh my goodness <laughs> All right, and as soon as that car goes, I'm bolting. I'll never get out of there. So let's see if I can find that other hill. If it's not this way, it's the other way. Right now, I'm just coasting down the hill. Save on your battery that way. I believe this is the road right here on the left. Wow. I think that's the one. It, it... Yeah, that's the one. That's even steeper than that other one. Wow. Now, I wonder if I can quickly get across the road here just in time. Okay, let's try this one. I'm not sure how long it is. Because it'll be my first time going up this one, but I hope the camera you can see it right there, and it's just going to keep climbing. So it's this is a steep one. I don't know how long it is. So let's try it again, starting in the rear gear, or rear motor for a moment, and then switch it over. So here we go. We're accelerating as we climb. That was no problem. And there's a little more climb here. So it's just a very short road, but. I'm not sure what the degree is of this one, but it's pretty steep. If you just had the one motor though, there's no way you could do it, but. Um, this is where the dual motor on the uh, Grizzly, as I've said many times, really shines. The bike shines when it comes to... That's where the dual motor uh, really shines, though, when it comes to those hills that are extreme. Now, I don't know 
I think where most people live, they're not going to have hills like that. Those couple of hills there that I did were short, but they're steep. And I don't think it matters if they were longer or not. I think the Grizzly would have kept on going. As you go past that other street there, they, uh, There's only one hill, if you want to call it a hill, that I seen that I don't think the Grizzly would handle. And it's so steep that I don't even want to go up it because basically what it is is a, it's basically a long stairway that Basically, it's stairs, and right beside it is the hill, if you want to try to tackle. So you know how steep stairs are. That's how steep the one hill I'm talking about is. It's fairly long, you know. But um, I don't uh, think I want to even try that one. Maybe someday I will, if we run out of things to uh, test. I found another hill I want to try quick. Now I gotta try to get turned around. Maybe I can go a little bit on the sidewalk here. It's cheating, but. And just to get back to that road. Okay. I want to try one more while I'm out here at it. This one right here. You can see that hill right there. Let's try that one. Very steep. And I'm going to start. Here's a car coming. I'm going to do it anyway, but here we go. I'm at full throttle at the moment and it's picking up speed. You can hear the motors working. Still climbing, 20 miles an hour. It's not quite as steep here. This uh, street is uh, Summit Ridge, appropriately named. I'm gonna go down here. true hill climbing bike the grizzly is just that if you're in an area that needs that kind of power the dual motor is great I'm just coasting down here. Do 
heard some breaking, but... No bike lane here, we just gotta wing it. Come back into a bit of a lane here. Pretty much all downhill where I'm going now after all that climb. We're heading to a busy highway up here. It's called Pacific Highway or 99W. So uh, this is rush hour time, so this will be interesting. bike lane here. I think this uh, bike lane is probably going to end coming up. I guess not. I'm going to be right in with the cars. trickier riding when you're on these uh, more major uh, roads. Grizzly can do it all. If you need to go on the uh, busy roads, you can. If you need to hill climb, you can do that. It's kind of like your utility bike. If you need something done, this thing can do it for you, for sure. And having the uh, E Huntsman tires on here <clears throat> makes uh, you feel a little more comfortable uh, when riding that you're not going to be, not likely anyway, as, as likely to get a flat tire. They have a little, not a little more, a lot more on the tires than the stock tires that were on the bike uh, when I got it. Mm -hmm. 
so that's gonna do it for this video hill climbing and a little highway ride there so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel <clears throat> just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified if you want to comment on this video or any other video go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below I do my best to uh, read every comment So once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, take care.